ousted. Three members of the San Francisco Board of Education have been dumped after a recall election earlier this week. Could this be evidence that the people living in this city by the bay are waking up to the disaster they've created? In a landslide vote, more than 70 percent of voters supporting the recall of President Gabriela Lopez and board members Fauga Moliga and Allison Collins. These three gained notoriety last year after their attempt to rename a third of the district public schools with names honoring historical figures like Abraham Lincoln and Paul Revere. Joining me now to discuss this is Leslie Huang, a volunteer with Recall SF School Board, and Rob Kuttner, a San Francisco parent. I really appreciate you being with us. Um, Rob, I want to kick it off with your reaction to this decision. So, well, like we like we said a few days ago, it's a great day in San Francisco. Uh, I think people are finally figuring out what the what the edge of the envelope is in terms of crazy leftist policies in this town. So, renaming schools when kids are locked out uh, and the resulting impact on uh, on the kids themselves. You know, kids falling off twenty percent in their math proficiency. Uh, you know, half of the uh, half the black kids in San Francisco didn't even show up for school, so they lost a full year of education. All this talk about racial equity and 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 you know, all this social justice virtue, virtue signaling has done the exact opposite uh, when it comes to opportunity for these kids. So I think it's it, it's a good sign that people, like you say, are finally waking up, and hopefully it's the beginning of more things like this to come. Leslie, talk to us a little bit about the efforts that went into this. Well, what we saw was this process began one year ago. This was a huge commitment of time of many, many parents and volunteers. And what it showed is that the more people are participating in the government process. So we registered a lot of new voters. We, we got a lot of voters to vote that normally wouldn't vote. We got people to be, be involved in activism. They attended rallies. They reached out to their friends and family to vote. And it also encouraged a lot of people to think about running for local office. Thomas Jefferson said, America, we're not a government by the majority. We're a government by the majority that participate. So this is a this is a new day in San Francisco. Rob, I want to put this next question to you. San Francisco's mayor um, will choose their replacements. He put out this statement. The voters of the city have delivered a clear message that she put out this statement. I apologize. Have put out a clear message that the school board must focus on the essentials of delivering a well-run school system above all else. It's time that we refocus our efforts on the basics of providing quality education uh, for all students. How confident are you that Mayor Breed will be able to choose the right replacements? Yeah, well, the, the thing I would say here is that Mayor Breed has virtually nothing to do with, this re, with the success of this recall. The, this recall was, was built by hundreds and hundreds of organizers like me and Leslie. Uh, thousands of people who signed the, signed the petitions went out to vote. Mayor Breed is along for the ride in the momentum of this movement that we've all built. So when she points somebody, when, when she points folks in November, or when she points them now and then we uh, get to vote on, vote on them again in November, the only way we're going to be successful in holding these people to account is to keep being active. So I would encourage everybody here in San Francisco and everybody across the country who's sticking to doing similar to get out there and get active and do something. You're not the, the politicians are not the source of change here. They're not coming to your rescue. It's up to you. It's up to folks like you and me. So, Leslie, how do you keep the pressure on here? The pressure is for more people to get involved. Mayor Breed is up for election next year. She knows which way the political winds are blowing. So. People have to be involved or else we're not going to be heard. And uh, talk to me a little bit about, you know, one of the members that was ousted, Allison Collins, had made the news before. Collins was a strong proponent of Lowell High School dropping its merit-based admissions process, which she called racist. Um, meanwhile, her own children go to a merit-based arts school. She seems to care about her own children's education, uh, but not other people's. Your reaction to that, Rob? It's classic left-wing projection. It's psychological projection. It's, you know, do as I say, not as I do. You know, like you say, her kids go to a private merit-based school. It's, you know, it's not good enough, apparently, for the rest of us, for, you know, for the, kid, for the kids in searches who need a merit-based program the most. Um, you know, there's only, there's only this, that one school, Lowell, 
Uh, it's right around the corner from me, actually. And um, you, know, you close down merit-based admissions there, you turn it into a lottery like the rest of the horrible San Francisco public school system, and you're slamming the door on any opportunity for, for kids who really need the opportunity the most to be able to excel, to get the discipline they need, to get, to get the, the, the education they need. And the way I think about it is, a, a, one, a, a one or two bedroom apartment in San Francisco costs about $2,500 a month. Gas costs five bucks, five bucks a gallon. There's, there's no way that a kid's gonna come out of the San Francisco public schools with any shot of being able to live in this town. So it's, 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 it's been a long time come that people are rising up and taking ownership of this district back into their own hands. Hopefully, like I say, this is, you know, this is just the, the start of, of holding these people's feet to the fire. Well, I commend you both for getting involved in, in something that you have a stake in. Um, Leslie Huang and Rob Kuttner, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having us. Thank you.